Hey, what's up guys? So if you were a subscriber to my last channel, which had right at 20,000 subscribers, you would have noticed that there were a lot of releases, a lot of releases, several pack releases, media pack, emulator packs, ROM packs, and so forth. We are going to get back into that uh, very soon, but right now, uh, focusing on releasing this guy right here. There was a request yesterday to release the Pinball X with the media, which I am going to do. And we're going to cover that in another video in about an hour. But for right now, what I'm going to do is describe a new segment to this channel that may or may not be for you. It's basically, I'm going to do a video vlog. Um, so many things have changed in the last few years that uh, it's good therapy and it's you may or may not be interested in it you always have the back button if you don't want to watch but you know to get your comment is always valuable to me and you know I respond to 99.9% .9 of all comments especially if I see them I respond to them almost immediately but we're gonna talk about just about everything I mean just life in general but Today I'm going to show you why this channel here, which was started four or five months ago, has progressed a little slower than the previous channel. Um, previous channel took off really fast and there was lots of content to download, but I want to show you what sort of brought that this channel a little slower to progress. So I'm going to introduce you to Kids Cuts. And what is Kids Cuts? Well, Kids Cuts was an idea I had last year in July. Things were just so hectic around here. I had more customers than I could deal with. Um, it was very stressful. And that's why you'll notice that I handpick the builds that I do now. You, won't, you used to see five or six build videos a week. Now you might see one or two a month, and that's because I hand pick each one. Uh, I don't want to get overwhelmed. I've got a lot on my plate as it is right now, but I decided to sort of migrate to something more traditional. And as I was one night, actually I was at a sports clips, and I saw a young mother turned away, and she brought her kid in for a haircut, and the stylist said, we don't cut kids' hair here. And the woman looked at me like, oh my God, what do I do now? And it occurred to me, I know exactly what you can do, but not yet. So I went home, pitched the idea, and literally the next day signed the lease. Went out that morning by four or five in the morning, went down the spot that was in the most prime location in our area, which you're gonna pay for, um, and started on an idea. And now I started from scratch. I literally had no plans. I had no design idea. I just knew I was gonna do it. And as a matter of fact, for the first few weeks, I signed the lease. I had to buy all the equipment from the woman that was in there. Decided that the equipment was just trash. And I gave it all away on Craigslist. I said, come and get it. And I was sitting in this empty 1200 foot space going, Oh my God, what do I do now? I had no idea. I was freaking out, literally freaking out for a few days because I had no design idea. And I am a design type person. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna Photoshop every single wall. And I work much better in that type of environment. And that's exactly what I did. I Photoshopped every single inch of that shop till it looked the way that I wanted it to and then I designed it, and it did not deviate one iota from that design, and it turned out amazing. So let me introduce you to Kids Cuts, and this is why my time is so limited, but don't worry, I am gonna follow through, and you're gonna get this pinball release right here this week. Well guys, this is Kids Cuts. This is what's been taking up a lot of my time. And let's take a tour. Let's go over here and cut the light on first. This is my 80s shelf, as you can see. This is all the handheld arcades, 
the little 80s, 70s handheld football and basketball, Rubik's Cube, Pop Rocks. We cut our line on. And this is Kids Guts. So each station has a 28 inch Roku TV with Netflix, Amazon, PBS Kids, tons of other stations, as well as uh, 360. Now I have a stack of Xbox Ones in the back, but for now we're gonna leave it at the 360 simply because only thing kids wanna play is Minecraft. I don't get it, but that's what they wanna play. If we scroll on down, you'll see these are my two favorite stations. I love Trials Fusion. And I've got all the versions of Trials only on these two stations. We have five adult stations and kids stations. And what you'll think is, you'll imagine that, oh, Kids Cuts, it's a kid's salon. It's actually not. It's a full service family salon. I guarantee you, I have one of the best barbers in Tennessee. So much so that people drive over an hour to come see her. She is freaking amazing. And we have three full-time stylists, one part-time. All stylists are trained with children with autism and special needs. So we get a lot of families in here with those type of needs but for the most part you would be amazed how much color and women and men that we do over half of our business are women at these stations here and that's why I had these stations built was just so women could have their own, own space but you would be surprised they never want to sit there. They want to sit over here. And what they'll do is they'll get a color, highlight or whatever, and watch Netflix while their children are over here playing on one of the stations, on one of the TVs. I think we have 10 TV, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 TVs. And not counting the arcade ones. But this is one of the only salons you can bring your children into and no one's gonna throw a fit. So um, each one of these are two player. So the kids can sit here and play while they're waiting. It's very difficult to find a game that you can pick up and play and not have, uh, you know, sit through a huge story. We've got a 32 inch extensions, Rec Room Masters Arcade. Now this is not the emulation edition. This is the console edition. So if you've never seen one, you'll notice that the key, the game pad is laid out completely different. The controller board, and they are mapped to 360 and Xbox controllers. So you can actually have a, a PlayStation in the back, a, Xbox, which I am going to do. I'm literally today am configuring a PS3 to sit behind here. Right now, I've got the Tato X Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition planned, and people love this thing. They gravitate. You will see moms and dads come over here and they will fight it out. I mean, fight it out. So much so, I think they broke the diagonal on this controller so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to replace this I haven't tested it here today but you see all the joysticks are laying very neatly under the stations and on a weekend you will find these scattered all throughout the shop so my wife is smart enough to label them and this is just waiting area which we're gonna have to redo um, uh, there's just not enough seats I'm thinking about doing maybe a stadium seating over here, we've got the Rec Room Masters cocktail cabinet. I've removed player two because there wasn't enough space without interfering with the door. And at first, I did have hyperspin running on here, but it just 
became too cumbersome. It crashed all the time. My wife was always calling me saying, you know, how do I do this, how do I do that? So I went to Gemma Boards, uh, GemmaParts.net, bought a 60 in one Gemma board. I replaced the standard buttons with Ultralux buttons. As you guys know, I love the Ultralux buttons. Anything Ultramark puts out means quality in my book, and they could put out a joystick made of dog poo, and I promise you I would buy it and stand by it because Andy has made nothing but quality products, and he's done it for many, many of years. But with the JAMA board, it's extremely simple. They can choose. They can go through and just hit the yellow button, and they're ready to play. It's that simple. It is, I think that's probably been running for three or four months without even being reset. High scores are saved, and it's great. And there are um, kids that come in here, and they will literally hit the credit button, which I believe this is our credit button right here, a thousand times. So I never have to put in credits. I am not a hands-on person at all. And so I told my wife whenever I had the idea, literally had the idea one night and invested a ton of money the next day. Just went with it. I went all high quality products. I hired the best carpenter in Nashville to build the cornices up top. He also did uh, quite a few other things, but um, I designed and laid out this entire shop myself, wired everything built everything I was um, shocked because I am NOT a hands-on person that wall to get it up to codes build it and get it up to codes was mind-blowing in my opinion I've got little Easter eggs hidden all through here if you look down there you'll see you'll see little mouse holes I've got three mouse holes and I've got Dory hidden around here somewhere if they want to look for her, but we don't tell them that. Kept it very clean, very simple, very bright. And within three months, we had over 600 customers through here. And as of today, we have been nominated for a Ruthie Award in less than one year in business. A Ruthie Award in our area is the best small businesses in our county. Basically, we're a very large county outside of Nashville. And to even be nominated for that is just phenomenal. So this is Kids Cuts. This is what I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into. It's turned out very well. We've had over uh, 200 reviews across several different platforms. And they have all been five-star reviews, except for one last week when a woman had to wait way too long because it was back to school and we were slammed. It was standing room only in here, so she was not happy. She had to wait, and people were already scheduled way before her. So, you know, that's the one percenter. Any business, as you guys know, are always going to have the one percenter people you cannot make happy no matter what you do and you could bend over backwards and they're just not going to be happy so uh, one interesting thing is the menu board I contacted several companies for a menu board and they were very expensive most started at 1500 on up and I contacted one company and they said, yeah, it's going to be about $1,300 down. We'll build your menu board and $300 a month. And then basically he gave me the rundown of how it works. So I said that was about 8 o'clock in the morning. By 3 o'clock the afternoon, I had it written myself. And basically what it is, if we look behind here, way back there, we're going to see a kangaroo media PC. And... Basically, it's just running a C-sharp program I wrote, and every single night at three o'clock, it goes to a certain URL, looks for an update to the menu system, which is nothing but high-res JPEGs. Um, any changes, any CRC, any checks, it will download the new update and add the menu for me. If I wanna edit that on my phone, 
I can edit it on my phone and it'll update the next day. Actually, I could, I could force an update using JSON, but a um, little above what I'm trying to do. This is very simple, very elegant. It took me about $220 to get this working and about eight hours time of writing the script. Now, develop, I mean, designing the, the menus, that's a different story. It took me a couple days to get the right look that I wanted. But um, I did all the menus from scratch, and they look great. So guys, this is Kids Cuts, and this is a lot of our time and effort. So if you're wondering why the releases don't come like they used to, this is why. But they will, you know, as, as things progress. You know, over time, I will start releasing more and more. But this takes up a lot of our time this is not the only location we have going there are more and matter of fact i've been approached three times to franchise had a contract in my hand signed to start the franchise and decided it wasn't the right time to franchise a company within one year is probably a great way to fail so i decided we're going to hold off until we get a few more locations up and running and established and then we'll look at the franchise model so this is Kids Cuts, guys, and hope you enjoyed it.